Is there, let, let's say you got a visa, would there be any chance that uh, the Beatles will tour ever again? I'd say it's a 90 to 1 chance they won't. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't sound very inviting to me, touring. You know, touring was a drag. And Why? It was just a drag. You know? I mean, I don't know how the Stones did this tour, whether they took a day off in between, but it was just complete like madness from morning till night with not one moment's peace, you know, and living with each other in a room for four years on tour. We toured like for four years. You know? And it was, of course, there were great moments, you know, and there was there's many a lot. Whenever we talk about it, it's all laughs. But when you get down to the physical reality, it was all pain, you know. Because there was nothing in the music, we weren't getting any feedback, you know, we just go on and we weren't we weren't improving. We were just turning out the same old, we weren't even, half the time we'd just mime on the mic because your voice had gone or anything like that. The kids would just be howling. You'd get kicked. Beaten up, walked into walls, hustled, pushed, and all but that might not happen now. I mean, yeah. the Beatlemania seems to have subsided somewhat. I mean, there's still tremendous interest, but yeah. Well, you just—I bet you ninety. You know, I'll give you ninety dollars against one or whatever the odds are that if we came on the road again. Maybe the first time it'd be like that, just again, because the myth still exists. I can judge it by the reaction to one Beatle, one. Lone Beetle and his Japanese bride wandering around, you know. And you multiply that four times on the hype and the pressure that'd be out and the publicity that would go with it. Uh, you saw what happened to the Stones. It was like uh, they hadn't done it for four years in the States. It was like Stone Mania again. So if the Stones can do it, the Beatles certainly would do it. And it, the way the Beatles did it. Which How is long has four, it been now? Four years or five. Yeah. I'm not against performing, you know, but performing as a Beatle is like a, such a myth and an aura about it that they expect Jesus, God and Buddha have said this a lot of times, you know, to come on stage. It's like the Isle of Wight Dylan concert. He was beautiful, the whole atmosphere was beautiful, but the way it was written and said about it as if it was a big disappointment because they were expecting God to come on and lay it on them, you know, the press especially. You know, and for the Beatles to come on, we'd have to come on and do a miracle. You don't think that it's just a lot of people are out there and they just want to see you perform live? Yeah, but it's an anticlimax to the build-up of the myth. The myth is bigger than the actual four human guitarists, you know, three guitarists and a drummer. The myth is bigger than the reality, you know. So I'm inclined to leave them with the myth. If the Beatles would split open the group a bit and have Yoko, Billy Preston, Bob Dylan, Eric Clapton, and Elvis Presley in the group, I might be interested. In but as the Fab Four, I'm not personally interested in going out like that. Are any of the Beatles? Well, the, a few months back, it was George who didn't want to work. I was, I tried. There was a p point when I was trying to get him on the road again. I thought, it'd be good. Come on, let's go. You know. And uh, I ended up out here on my own, rocking with Yoko, you know. And now, of course, George is on tour with Bonnie and Delaney and Eric Clapton, you know, the great sound going on there, ten guitarists and all that. And so it's like, you know, he's out there now playing, and he performed with me the other night for the UNICEF thing. In fact, it was great, you know, we had the whole Bonnie and Delaney band and the whole of the Plastic Ono band, there was 17 people playing, it was fantastic. Mm. We did two numbers, Cold Turkey and Don't Worry Kyoko, and they lasted one and a half hours. It was like, I'd like to come and do, lay that in the States, you know, but I don't want to go on as the myth. How about Ringo? He seems the one least heard from most, you well, know. Well, you'll be hearing from him because his film just comes out, The Magic Christian with Sellers, you know. It's not bad. Ringo's and the, the concept. It's good, you know, but nobody's got him on film how he should be filmed. He was mainly interested in being an actor now? Yeah. You know, because uh, he knows the Beatle thing isn't going to go on, you know, so he's he's got a job, you know. 
and he's he's interested in it. He's a natural comedian. Nobody's used, done it properly yet. He was on TV. I saw him on TV the night before the premiere of the film, and the 20 minutes he was on TV was the, better than the whole film. Really, he's, he's sort of in the film, you know. But he's got the film, you know, and he'll be filming for a long time. And that'll come out in the States soon, so I suppose that's when you'll hear about it. He was in the States recently, so I don't know why he didn't hear it. He's not as big a hustler as me, probably, you know, publicity-wise. Well, often I had heard that he was the main one that wanted the Beatles to dissolve. No, no. No, that's not true. See, there's no main one that wants the Beatles to dissolve. There's no... No decisions like that being made. We're just four guys with different points of view who change every now and then and decide they want to do something, decide they don't want to do something. We're just like any one of you, you know, but we're just in the public eye, so all these myths grow up and all these stories and all that, but we just change our minds every now and then, you know. But they're pretty spectacular changes. I mean, going from the whole drug thing to the Maharishi thing but, I mean, and now to a peace thing. Of people been through those trips. Mm. Everybody You've went through acid. Through Everyone who's anyone went through the acid trip. Everybody's uh, millions of people have been through the yoga meditation trip. Where I'm now on the macrobiotic trip. You know, everybody's going through it all the time. It just so happens we do it in public. You know, but us two, John and Yoko, have made use of the the public going through our changes in public and make it into an event. You know, like she was saying on TV or something. You know, like Genet and them writing plays about a strange couple and making it into theatre quotes or art quotes. Instead of doing that, we're living it. You know, we're doing it like now, not putting it down on paper and getting somebody to perform it later. We are doing it now. This is.